You're gonna be all right, little buddy. Springs. Shopping day today. Let's go shopping. Yay. Buy all our stuff that we lost and burnt. It's not even making it out of the uh, caravan park. Gotta make sure you can pick it up yourself. Simpson training. Would you hit the stump or something? One, two, Magoo. Watch two old men pick up a Tenere. All right, rolling through the gap of Apple Springs. <clears throat> Need to do a bit of, bit of shopping before we venture out to Ayers Rock today. Uh, we will get to Ayers Rock today though. And then we'll be camping at Curtin Springs, someplace around Ayers Rock, I guess. Uh, but Silas is trying to find fork seals. I think all of us trying to find an air filter. I told him, like, WR, it's fine man. You don't need to change the air filter. Should be right the whole trip. Uh, Nunu's trying to find a mattress. I don't really need anything, so... Well, I'm gonna buy some clothes and burn my old clothes. So I'm just gonna get a Kmart. All right, we're geared up. Silas is getting his fork seals done. Busy day at uh, Westpac. Um, Silas is getting his fork seals done. I just got new underwear and socks from Kmart. Uh, Cameron is mailing half of his shit back to home. Everyone always brings too much stuff. I'm the king at bringing the correct amount of gear. People say that I always pack too light, but then you've literally got people mailing stuff back home because they realize I've brought too much shit. Um, got another t-shirt. Freaking just ready to go, man. The boys are here. Nope, here. No. Just living off the land here in uh, Alice Springs. Just a little bit of a taste of Melbourne. Nice latte, bacon and eggy. What you get there? Scrambled eggs, Scrambled nice eggs. brown. Toast, Not French a bad, toast. Not a bad brekkie here in beautiful, sunny Alice Springs. Cold, miserable, and raining in Melbourne. Blue sky, sunny and warm in the Northern Territory. Just talking to uh, old mate Green Shirt. He's just uh, done the think on a 790. He was the only one. 890. 890. Same thing. Yeah. 890, only twin. And he did it. So, well done to him. Alice Springs Jet Corps. I remember this used to be a KDM dealership. That appears to be gone. I think it was Desert Edge or something. I don't know. But we're here at Yamaha Honda. Woo! Oh, let's just get a new bike. Oh, I could get the Fink special. But no, back on the WR. Ayers Rock, let's go. Alice Springs to Ayers Rock. It's a five hour ride. We have six hours until the sunset. We have to just, you gotta see Ayers Rock at the sunset or else no point going. Fantic, that's the Chinese one, isn't it? Look at that, five bikes and a big total water. Chinese, oh, it's got Olins on it. Maybe it's not. I, I don't know what Fantic is. I don't know what any of those bikes are. The trailer of weird branded dirt bikes. It's pretty cool. Double caravan overtake it. Good gear and. Let's look at these yeah, Moto yeah, yeah. Z's. Hour, no. No, 130 k's an hour for two hours. How are the tires? That would eat tires. It's still all right. Not bad. How do we get fuel? Blasting past everywhere. Yeah. There's no fuel here. 
Really? No, yeah, it's over okay. there. One Bowser. One Bowser yeah, dog. Oh, oh, 500k ride to get out here. Ayers Rock is not close to Alice Springs. <laughs> if you go, oh, let's just go to Alice Springs and then we'll go visit Ayers Rock. It'll only take us half an hour. It is a long way away. It is like going to France and being like, oh, let's go visit the Eiffel Tower. But the Eiffel Tower is in freaking like Switzerland or some shit. Five hours away. The last kind of little stop before kind of get into the national park of Yolara, which is where Ayers Rock is. That was 165. Still a pretty decent stint. How about an Ayers Rock wheelie? A pre Ayers Rock wheelie. to her but it's free all right looking down looking down ready to see the majesty the magnificence the Australian natural wonder of the world Uluru I don't know if the GoPro is doing it justice but holy moly that is uh actually pretty magical man I, i've been here a few times but i i feel like it just doesn't do it justice like when i'm a kid and i'm in the back seat of the car and i'm playing pokemon on my game boy just they're asleep all the time and i don't really want to do anything because i'm a dumb kid or in school and shit i was too busy kissing girls in the back of the bus but i feel like now Holy crap, this kid's getting bigger and bigger. Now I've ridden this humble WR thousands and thousands of kilometers. And I've seen so much of Australia is just flat and you know to be honest nothing. It's just desert. So much of it. To be able to be just moving through the land and have that emerge is actually freaking special man. Uh like I know it's like not a thing anymore climbing Ayers Rock, but I climbed Ayers Rock in 2004 in year 10. And uh, like back then it was like, it was like climbing Mount Everest. It was just an achievement. Like, you know, it was, we're all hyped up. You know, who's the coolest? Who's gonna make it to the top? Who's gonna wimp out and not do it? Cause it was pretty Larry climbing it. Um, but now obviously the cultural importance of the rock and stuff, you're not allowed to climb it anymore. I can kind of see how it's it's a magical pretty special place even to me just a humble white man but to uh, an indigenous Australian this is their freaking mecca man like that is a special freaking thing look at that God, I've come here like three times it's blowing me away just seeing it now it was sketchy as shit climbing it like there's just a chain, like, <laughs> look how steep, I can't even imagine us climbing that. I think you go up from that right hand side there, but like, even looking at it now, like, holy crap, that was sketchy. A bunch of year 10 kids climbing out this rock. The good old days, man, of like, just, hang on, if you slip, you're dead. And a lot of people died climbing Mount, um, Ayers Rock, like, <laughs> wasn't like it was not actually dangerous like quite a few people died climbing it oh shish kebabs shish 
shish kebabs. What the freaking mammoth. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I reckon, yeah, for sure. I mean, we've got almost an hour till the sunset. Yep. And uh, it's only a couple k's, I think. We get closer than this on the looper, right? Oh yeah, you get like to the base of it. Uh, yeah, 10 k's. Humble bikes have made it all the way from Melbourne to the big one. You can see we used to climb it where the chain and rail was. I still remember it from when I did it 18 years ago. I climbed it. And there's the sign. 26th of October 2019. They pulled the pulled the railing out. God damn, that was steep. Well, it's crazy to think that. This is still only about a third of our adventure. Feeling pretty far away from Melbourne right now. Middle of Australia. Heading to the sunset spot. Sun goes down in 29 minutes. Six minutes away. There's rock. What a beautiful looking thing. But look how red it is now. It just keeps getting redder and redder. Yeah. So cool. Look at the moon just poking out. It's like a full moon. The phone isn't doing it justice. Look at that full friggin' moon. That wall. That wall of sandstone. Holy moly. Look at the colors of the sky. It's like a nuclear explosion. Holy crap. The sun sets out here will blow your mind. I can't even comprehend these colors, man. All right, we're going for a night walk with Nurb. He's gonna tell us the stories of the dream time. The Aboriginal story of how Ayers Rock was formed was two children playing in the mud, uh, kicking up dirt and clay formed Uluru and then they ran over after they were done playing and settled on Mount Connor where their bodies remain. And Uluru withstands the time and continues to be here. I'm dying. My ankle's still sore from my 500 crash. Coming back from a night walk and it is very dark. You can't even see anything. But look at that sunset. It's still going well over an hour. Still looking beautiful. All right, we're at Ayers Rock at the barbecue joint and we've got to cook your own meat. How do we do it now? Everyone's cooking their own. No, I thought that was a photo. <laughs> got a bit of salt on yours. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, got that's pretty salt. good. Salted her up. Rub it in. Get her on there. I don't know why I'm 
filming like some magical experience, like cook steak at home yeah. anytime. But it's something you have to pay for. It. It's cool to do it at a restaurant and pay for it. Yeah. All right, we have a hundred kilometer ride at the dark now. That's my normal light. That's my spot lights. My spot lights are pointing way too down low, though. I should really ooh, point them out further. I cannot see. I need to point them out further. Further lights. Update time. We're here in Curtain Springs. We did 100 k's in the dark from Ayers Rock. Curtain Springs is full of people, so we're like in this back corner. Herb's in his tent watching porn. In his little hammock. Everyone else is going to sleep. I'm drinking tinnies alone. Just neck these into the little, the little coffin tent. Good night.